Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I have a review video for you. I was considering if I will film a favorites video and to be completely honest I was not so much in the mood to do that but I really wanted to show you a few products that I have been trying the last few months and some of them I love, some of them not so much. So it is kind of a favorites and not favorites video but it's a bit more focused on skincare this time. I have 10 products for you. Actually, I have skincare, I have two products that they are hair care and body care. I will start with these two and I will continue with the skincare ones. I have done a similar video quite some time ago with these 10 short product reviews and you really liked it. So I thought that I will do that again and um, uh, my plan is that next time I can have 10 makeup products short reviews like that. So hopefully that's something that you like. Leave me down in the comments suggestions if you want uh, a more mixed video with product reviews or if you like the fact that I'm trying to do some categories. And I also include quite some Korean products in the skincare part just because a lot of you have been asking for more Korean skincare videos and I have used a lot of new things. They're not all Korean actually, I also have a Japanese one, but Asian skincare. On a side note, I have gotten a new camera. I am very excited about it, but I had zero, zero time to play with it. And I'm filming with my old camera because it's more convenient, because I have to um, experiment a bit and see how long the camera battery stays on with the other one. And since I have so little time to film, I just thought that I will go the safe way and I will film with my old camera and I will try to do some experimenting during the next few weeks with a new one and hopefully at some point I will start using it a bit more. Uh, until then let's go into our reviews. My first product is a hair care product. This is um, a product that I received in uh, the Dream Bag which is like a beauty subscription here in Switzerland and it's by René Furterer which is a French brand and uh, it is the Fiora Vanti Vinegar de Brilliance for clarifying and sign uh, it's like a rinse liquid that you apply uh, when you are washing your hair and then you just uh, rinse it off and supposedly it makes your hair look more shiny and everything. It comes in a bottle like that. So it says that it can be used in two different ways. One is uh, uh, shampoo your hair and just distribute it throughout the hair and then rinse with fresh water and the other one is if you don't want to rinse it to dilute this and then put uh, one part of this with 10 parts of water and then just leave it on but to be honest I have only used the first way uh, I have not tried to dilute it with water I mean all this more complex ways or that you need to put a lot of effort in it's not really my style but uh, maybe in the future i will also try that to see how it works so it's um, for to just add a extra sign on your hair which is something that i'm certainly uh, on board with because i really like sign on my skincare on my hair care and on my makeup so um, I use this several times, uh, you don't need a lot of this, it comes in a bottle like that, it opens really nicely and then you can just pour some of it on your hair or on your hands and then apply it on your hair. I use it when I wash my hair as I said and to be honest I have not really seen any uh, extremely amazing results. Um, my hair is in general in a good shape, it's quite shiny and I'm using a lot of other care products. I guess I would need to only use this one without any extra treatments if I wanted to see if it really worked. But when I added this in my hair care routine, I didn't really see some extreme results. On the other hand, this is made mainly for hair that it's not really shiny anyway. And 
maybe that's why I could not see uh, real results but I also found it quite bothering to add this extra step. Usually my hair care routine is shampooing twice and then conditioner and then a hair mask and then all the leave-in treatments which is already quite full and I focus a lot on hydration and moisturization because I'm coloring my hair and I'm also heat styling it quite often so I really want to focus on protection and uh, this is an extra add step that I will only use whenever I don't want to use a conditioner so I would shampoo and then use this and then the mask so I would have to skip the conditioner because I think I already used too many steps in my hair care to just put an extra add-on that I have to do in the shower so I think it's a bit too much for something that I have not seen really uh, impressive results I will use it up I if I anyway see something fantastic with a long term use I will let you know but now that I have been using it for a few weeks I have not been really really impressed and I think this is a relatively expensive brand so it's not really a very cheap drugstore product to just add it in and try it the next product I have it's a body care product and I have been using it only like a week or two now this was in my rituals advent calendar and it's the uh, hammam hot scrub warming ginger and fresh eucalyptus sea salt body scrub so this is like a travel size packaging that came in the calendar it's quite large it has 125 grams of product but the large um, uh, full size tabs are even larger i think it's something like three or even 500 grams it looks like this and it smells so intensely I think that this is a really really nice sea salt scrub and it is quite oily so it's very easy to use the the salt it's not just like uh, disintegrating when you put it on your hands I had some examples for uh, products like that and you just massage it and um, it scrubs very really well it also creates a really spa feeling when you use it it smells very fresh very intense it has this warming effect a bit I really like the scent although I usually prefer more sweet scents or I don't know this is not something that it's extremely relaxing for me but it's something that it's very rejuvenating especially I believe because of the eucalyptus so that's a scent like for example if I was sick and would be using this I would be so so happy because everything it feels that you breathe nicer I guess it's because of the eucalyptus and it's also a really really good scrub anyway and uh, I was not aware of this line at all I have not used any other products until now I don't know why for some reason I thought maybe because of the packaging that this is one of their men's lines but this is not true so this is um, a unisex uh, product and I have been enjoying a lot using it it's a really really nice one I will continue with skincare and I will try to go uh, with the order that I am applying my skincare next I have this one this is the pixie double cleanse uh, that it's a collaboration with Caroline Hirons I wanted to try this since long I purchased it uh, some time ago and then I decided to get it with me in some of my trips because although it's not very small it's actually quite travel friendly and it has two uh, different products in and from one side it has uh, the solid cleansing oil and from the other side it has the cleansing balm I really like to use that in the evenings when I want also to take my makeup off uh, you can also use the second side as a morning cleanser but um, for the morning I prefer some 
more gel cleansers that I can wash off. This is something that it's more like a cream that you massage it. It's more like, again, like a spa feeling that you put some extra treatment in your face. And it comes like that. And this is how it looks. So this is the side of the solid oil. It's very good to take off all your makeup. I really like this kind of products that they are like solid oils and you just rub a bit on your fingers and then you just uh, take your makeup off. It really works very well also with eye makeup and I'm a person that wears a lot of makeup. And this is the other side. It doesn't really smell like anything. It's a very nice cream. And I was not very used to creamy cleansers like that, but I have been very pleasantly surprised. Also, this is a, a not very expensive product. I ordered it from the Pixie website. I will have the link down below and um, it has 50 and 50 ml. And depending how you try it and you use it, you might uh, end up using up the one side before the other. For me, that I mostly use both sides in the evening, it goes a bit the same for this product. And I am very, very pleased with this product. And of course, I didn't expect something less uh, from a collaboration with Caroline Hirons. Next, I have... Um, I do okay I have a toner I have a toner this is by Clinique I'm not sure if I have shown this in a previous video maybe a favorites video or something this is the mild clarifying lotion and this is the exfoliating toner that I have been using in the mornings and the important thing that this is the mild version so I got this um, again after a recommendation from Caroline Hirons where she actually didn't speak very highly about this exfoliating lotions from Clinique but she only said that the mild one is nice because I think the others contain a lot of alcohol in and this one doesn't so you can just use it as any kind of exfoliant I just put it on a cotton pad and I just apply it on my face it's really really mild if you're not used to acids this would be great for you it doesn't have any fragrance in it is alcohol free as I said and it's not the most potent I would say it's not that I have noticed amazing results in comparison with other and uh, chemical exfoliators that I have been using like the glow tonic or then some Korean ones that I have but this is a mild version and I didn't want to overdo it with my um, chemical exfoliation. So especially in the mornings I'm using vitamin C that I will just talk about next. And I really wanted to use something milder and I have not seen any deterioration in my skincare when I swap this with the more strong exfoliants that I have been using and uh, I am not a huge believer in Clinique skincare but this and the fresh spread system really really uh, try to um, make me change my mind because this is a really really good one and it says that it's gentle and you can also use it in sensitive skins but if you have a very sensitive skin I would not necessarily suggest you that you will uh, just go and start using it daily unless you are used to acids uh, next as I said I have a vitamin C product I have reviewed and I just mentioned the fresh press system by Clinique I really like this one and especially I like the cleanser that comes in the powder form I will have the link of my review post down below but the serum that it's meant to be mixed with a moisturizer it's okay but it's not really my favorite one this is my favorite product of vitamin C that I have ever tried and I am so in love with it that I really 
don't know if I want to ever try another one. If I have to, the only reason would be because this is something that a friend of mine brought me from Sephora US and it's not available in Europe, it's not easy to get it. This is by a brand called Drunk Elephant, it's a skincare brand and this is, I have not even said the name of the product yet, the C Firma Day Serum and it has 15% L-ascorbic acid so it has the actual potent uh, vitamin C form and 50% it's a very very good uh, concentration and then uh, in my um, blog post I don't only talk about the clinic uh, vitamin C uh, line but I also explain everything that you need to know about vitamin C what is good, why I like this product is the fact that it's not um, uh, although it's uh, active vitamin C it's very stable the way they have done it also uh, it's um, completely protected from the sun, it has a really nice twistable pump, everything in this packaging is amazing and then it says use it in the morning and then uh, uh, the formulation it says has a reservoir effect which means that it will stay active on the skin for up to 72 hours without being able to wash or rub it off. And of course, you really need to wear SPF whenever you are using this. I'm just checking on the website a few more information about the product. It says that it has um, this complex with the potent vitamin C but also ferulic acid and vitamin E. The vitamin C is really great to brighten the skin and to firm the skin. It makes it feel much smoother. In general, it's a really nice active ingredient that I would recommend all of you to find uh, a product and try it out. It's not very easy to find the specific one from Drunk Elephant maybe, but there are several products that you can try and in my blog post I explain what kind of things you should be looking when you're choosing a vitamin C product. Uh, it also contains chronocycline that it says that it's a chronopeptide that has antioxidant benefits and uh, it says that it also has a fermented pumpkin extract and pomegranate enzyme and uh, also that it has sodium hyaluronic cross polymer that hydrates and plumb the appearance of fine lines. In general it has a lot of antioxidant um, properties which is something very great for vitamin C and uh, I think it has a really nice combination of active ingredients that they really work very very well. Uh, it doesn't smell fantastic but skincare it's not supposed to smell fantastic if you really want good quality of skincare because you just don't want them to pour a ton of fragrance in it uh, instead of other active ingredients and um, I know that there are some vitamin C products out there that they are quite uh, good, I have not tried them but they have quite uh, good reviews and they are much cheaper because this is quite expensive but um, the reason that I really really like this is not only the vitamin C but the combination and how it works together with all the other ingredients um, sometimes and maybe I will need to do a more extensive video about that but sometimes some brands come out with very simple products which are absolutely fine like for example The Ordinary has some vitamin C products but they don't have anything else in and in the end to achieve the result that a product like that will give you you might need to use five products together of the other line instead of that still five the ordinary products are cheaper than this but you understand what I mean that it's not that it's a one-to-one -one, uh, comparison this more um, advanced technology advanced skincare technology brands make a mixture of active ingredients that it's very difficult to achieve unless you mix 
a lot of other products from other more simple lines. Of course, then it depends what exactly you want to add in your skincare. So it's not that this is irreplaceable. You can certainly find something that it's more budget friendly to get your vitamin C from, but it's a brilliant, maybe the best vitamin C serum out there. And I really understand the hype. I don't think that it's gimmicky. I just think that it's a brilliant skincare product. Next I have a relatively new product in my skincare routine. This is a Japanese product and uh, I most probably am murdering now the name but it's the Goku June Hyaluronic Lotion. So this I got from eBeauty and Care which is a online shop here in Switzerland. I have the link down below. Uh, that uh, mainly focuses in Korean skincare, but also obviously brought this one, although it's Japanese. And uh, I have seen this in Gothamista in one of her videos, suggesting that this is an excellent hydrating toner. It is uh, quite thin, but it has some consistency it's not completely watery and it's something that i would apply after my uh, exfoliating toner i usually apply this in the evenings because in the mornings i go with something more watery and my vitamin c serum but uh, it's something that the main reason that I wanted to get it is because it's very hydrating and Gothamista said that it's a perfect um, essence toner to use for the seven skin method. And I will say a few things about that. Some of you have heard it because I posted it on Instagram and you were very, very excited to hear more about this and the method and ask me how I find it. So this is something that originated in Korean, I guess, or Japan. Uh, I have seen it from Korean uh, skincare YouTubers and it's what exactly the name says. It has seven steps where you're using one or more um, toners, skins or a first um, step essences so very very thin hydrating full of active hydration ingredients products and you just apply them the one after the other no you don't have to have seven different toners you can just use one and do the seven steps i do that twice a week i have done that a few times since i started using this alone or this together with a benton essence that I have and I'm really loving the result. It's perfect for hydration. You need a very, very small amount and the best way, or at least what the Gothamista says, uh, to put it, she made a video together with some other Korean skincare uh, YouTubers that I don't remember now. I will, if I remember, I will put the link of the video down below. And they say that the best way to do it is to just pat it. In general, skincare, Korean skincare, always, always suggests you to pat stuff. So you just pour a bit of this in the palm of your hand. You just do that. And then you start patting from here and here, which is usually your more uh, dry area. And then you go to your T-zone with the less uh, remaining product that is on your palms. And you can just do one step after the other. You can mix lotions. The most important thing is to only use hydrating toners. Don't use several uh, steps of uh, exfoliating toners on that. I only put my exfoliating toner and then I immediately start. As I say, I try to go from a thinner to a thicker consistency if I try, if I use several ones and I try to not use too many. A very little quantity and then your skin looks so glowy and feels so hydrated. I mean, if I had the dry skin, I would be maybe considering even using it uh, more frequently. My skin certainly didn't break out because of this. I'm very very happy and this contains hyaluronic acid and it also contains 
my memory is not as good as you would expect it to be but it also contains uh, supathuron acid that I have no idea what it is but both of them are very um, easy to penetrate the skin and to hydrate it without making it feel heavy and tacky which is something that no one likes so this is my experience so far with the seven skin method and it's called seven skin because in Korean this um, some of these very thin products toners and lightweight they're called skin for some reason so when you're listening about skin toner hydrating toner and essence they're very very close some essences are a bit more thicker and they are more similar to serums and treatments but the first step essences the skins and the hydrating toners are a very similar thing so that's how at least I understand this so after this I have a eye cream to talk about and this is a very famous eye cream this is by Kiehl's and this is the creamy eye treatment with avocado we know that it has avocado oil it was also in my advent calendar by Kiehl's it's a full size and I was very excited to try it out because everyone talks about it and it has really really good reviews to be honest and this has 14 grams in it and it's a quite of a thick cream I mean I don't like the fact that it comes like that in this pot I don't like pots so this has avocado oil as it says but it also has sea butter and beta carotene and uh, I mean avocado oil supposedly is very very good as it says on the website it is um, known for its moisturizing properties more than any other fruit oil and it also has amino acids and vitamins and it uh, the sea butter we know that it's quite um, hydrating and it's used for many in many many products for face and body i only use this in the evenings i use it since quite some time now and to be completely honest i'm a bit on the fence with it I think that if I had drier skin I would love this more but this is quite difficult for me sometimes to apply on my skin because it is very tacky and very thick and uh, it's certainly not something that I would like to wear under my makeup this is the reason why I prefer to wear more uh, lightweight eye creams in the morning but I think if you have really dry under eye this can help a lot but I would still always go first with a good hydrating toner and bring it relatively close to your eyes before you're putting your um, uh, eye cream not very very close because most of these products have not been tested for eyes if they don't say it on the packaging don't bring it necessarily very very close but this I have some difficulties with it I'm not in love with this it's not something I have recommended that to many friends that they have problems with really dry under eye but for me this is not what I'm looking in a cream I would prefer if it had a more balmy consistency I found them extremely hydrating but also very easy to apply this sometimes just doesn't let me really blend it on the skin and although I'm using very little quantity and then I'm building up if needed still not very in love with it I know that it's a favorite product for many many people well it's not really for me I have another product that I recently show you in a whole video and I start using immediately this is again something that I got from a trip I got it from Paris from Sephora and it's by Fresh and I know that it's not available in all countries it's the sugar lip serum advanced therapy with smoothing acmella flower it is quite expensive it comes in a beautiful packaging like that and it's a really really beautiful serum that supposedly helps a lot especially to 
prevent these little fine lines that people can have around their lips and I really enjoy wearing this in the morning after I uh, cleanse my face and start my skincare and then it dries while I'm putting my face makeup before I put my um, lipstick or uh, lip gloss lip gloss how often really do you wear lip gloss mirona anyway and uh, i also wear it sometimes in the evenings i actually uh, wear this when i do my skincare that is several hours before i go to sleep and then when i go to bed i will put something even thicker like a very thick lip balm or like a lip oil and i'm really really liking it you need very very little not even like half a pump of this for uh, your upper and lower lip I think that it's really really hydrating but without really being heavy and sticky so it's very easy to wear under your makeup and it says that besides this acmelia flower extract that helps with the appearance of wrinkles it also has Kigelia africana fruit extract that provides elasticity and sugar that it's uh, really nice to moisturize and soothe your lips it has a lot of other stuff of course but it's a, a, it's a really good product and I think that uh, you could give it a go especially if you want to put an extra step in, my, in your skincare if you really need it I wouldn't say so I think that a good really good lip balm that works for you or a lip oil they are more important steps in your skincare than this I wanted to just add something extra mostly because I'm wearing a lot of uh, liquid lipsticks and it's very important to never have dry lips and uh, I'm actually quite happy with my lip moisturization routine uh, the last couple of years I feel like my lips are never flaking or really dry although I wear very drying lipsticks so this is something that I thought that I can add in my routine I have two more products the one is not really one product but it's a mask line that I have sewn several times in my channel and it's by Tony Molly and it's the Unreal uh, line. I have here five masks that I have right now in the house. I have, maybe they have more, I'm certain that they have more. I have the seaweed skin purifying one that I have tried and I really like. I have the red wine one which is the porker one, again a favorite and the radiance tomato one and the lemon brightening one really really nice this is the only th one that i have not tried yet i think i will uh, try it today in the evening it's the amreal maggioli uh, skin purifying one again i love these masks i got most of them from e-beauty and care or maybe nyasa i'm not sure and um I really really like them I have bought them multiple times and you just put them on for 20 minutes to half an hour I love seat masks and this is a brand Tony Moly that you can easily find in many places I know that also in Greece for example they are now available in Sephora and they have a quite good variety they are very reasonably priced compared to other masks they have a really nice consistency for the seat of the mask and they have a, a really nice formulation that it really works they are quite uh, full of the liquid, of the essence but not so much that it will drip on you while you're wearing them they're staying really nicely on the face I think that they are among the most uh, easily accessible masks out there that they're really really good for you and if I have to choose a favorite I think I would choose the tomato one and uh, also the lemon one uh, I also like the wine one but, but these two I think are my absolute favorite like the tomato one go and get it really really nice mask
and for the last product of today's video I have again something that is relatively new again an extra thing for my skincare routine I love uh, trying out innovative stuff the moment I have seen this uh, in the e-beauty and care website I immediately order it because I have seen this in Gothamista again and I really wanted to try it this is by a company called Bleef and I think it's also available in US in Sephora and hopefully Sephora will bring it now in more countries and this is the Patting Water Pack Soothing and Healing Green Tea for Oil Control and Clarifying Pore Deep Cleansing, Moisturizing, Balancing, Lifting and it looks like, uh, I don't know, uh, mouthwash actually and this is a uh, water